Is there anyone else? Is there somebody by the name of Omid or Jameson here? No, I'm sorry. No? Oh, okay then. Um, sorry. See, the reason why I'm here, um, Miss Robinson has raised over $5,000 for Kids Help phone line. She was hoping to drop off the money, but she's been told basically that her money is no good because she said something about COVID that triggered Jameson. Did you hear about this story? Or? And if we have anything, we'll definitely email you. Sure. Just, I'm just curious, though. Is that anecdote indeed correct that she was trying to make... At this point, I'm not going to comment on anything without speaking to my, my department. I'm sorry. It's just, I just want to make sure job security here. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto, and I'm with Lisa Robinson. If the name rings a bell, it should. As you may recall, back in the last federal election, the Aaron O'Toole Conservatives threw Lisa Robinson under the bus. She was the Conservative candidate in Beaches, East York. False defamatory tweets emerged from her opposition and a couple of calls from the star and the CBC. Well, the conservatives went from we got your back to uh, please resign or we'll make things miserable for you. But that's Aaron O'Toole. And then we met up with Lisa in October. She put on an incredible Halloween haunt to raise money for charity. Now, the story there was that originally it was to raise funds for Sick Kids Hospital, but when Lisa connected with Sick Kids Hospital, instead of getting adulation for raising thousands of dollars, they were curious about the pro the COVID. Uh, so sorry, folks. We can't continue to show you the rest of the interview on YouTube. If you can, please take the off ramp from YouTube. Go to Rumble. Go to Super U. Go to Odyssey, and of course, go to RebelNews.com and see the rest of the interview. Un